Hey, I'm in Chalong district in Phuket, in Thailand, right? There's a place here, it's called Fitness Street. It's unarguably, undoubtedly, the world's fittest street. It's a very famous place. The entire street is world famous. People coming from all over the world to stay in and around this street. And the whole street is full of fitness clubs, boot camps, world famous Muay Thai gyms. It's all on this one street. Protein stores, protein shakes, massage places. The street is just like a dead set paradise for anyone that's wanting to get fit. I'm staying in Patong, which is about half an hour away. I thought I have to come and see this. We gotta go walk down it and just see See what's going on there. See the vibe of the world's fittest street. The amount of like super fit Westerners, white people, black people that have jogged past me. Cause obviously in Muay Thai, running is just a massive thing. <laughs> people running all around the street. People from everywhere, UK, Australia. Even famous fighters like top level MMA fighters come to this street and stay here and do Muay Thai camps. Like it's world class Muay Thai training. The best of the best even. And this place too, it's not just for elite level fighters or super fit people. This is a place for anyone. People that want to lose weight, people that, you know, they're unhealthy and, and in their, back home, in their lifestyle, they can't just seem to get fit. So you come here and you book a month, it's, we're in Thailand, yeah, it's so cheap. So they got these uh, fitness clubs or Muay Thai gyms or whatever you choose to go to. It's not just, like I said, it's not just fighters. Um, it's anyone. You don't have to even be fit to, to come here. It, you come here to get fit, you know what I mean? But I'll give you an example of like how much things cost here. Tiger Muay Thai, which is the most famous of the things that I know here. If you pay what's equivalent to 600 Australian dollars, you get a full month of unlimited access all day, every day to whatever you want. That's nothing, bro. Add on the cheap Thai accommodation, just local rooms around here, mate, I'm telling you, you get two grand and you're here for a month. And if you can't get fit and lose weight here or become a better fighter here, then mate, pick some new goals, mate. <laughs> it's true. I think the street's just here on our left. It's a pretty long street too. Yeah, and I heard even the food here is mad food. Look, here's a sign of like, look, Phuket top team, Tiger Muay Thai, Unit 27, rooms for rent, Dragon Muay Thai. So yeah, anyway, this is the top of the fittest street in the world. Let's go down here. Trying not to get killed by tuk-tuks. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Green Lab Cannabis Store. Uh, cannabis is completely legal here in Thailand. Uh, completely legal. If you're wondering why, like there's just grow houses and stuff like that. Massage place, tennis courts. So there's tennis courts, massage place, cannabis place up the top. And the first place we see, Shwama, Les Oge, lad. Yeah, obviously with so many foreigners coming here, um, there'd have to be so many accommodation places. You know somewhere uh, is like a full tourist spot when you have these coin operated laundries, 24 seven coin operated laundries. They're the biggest lifesaver. You always know that whatever city you go to in the world, there's those, you know, that's the spot. Uh, Keto, La Keto Cafe, look. Cheeky Keto it's called. That looks like mad feeds. Look, look exactly what I'm saying. Salmon, broccoli, a pepper, lemon, garlic. Doesn't look like it's open today. For reference, it's Monday and it's midday. Thought that would be open. Monday, it's about 12.15, I think. Uh, even in, in the barber at the back there, he's got all, it's full of Muay Thai statues. Rent scooters and that. Oh, he must be known to cut the hair of all like famous Muay Thai fighters because he's got photos all on his board, see? Hello. Protein shakes, smoothies, coffees. 
Actually, I might start with a protein shake and a coffee. You got protein shakes, right? Yeah, beautiful. Um, chocolate, please. Yeah, chocolate. You got coffee as well? Hey, can I get a black coffee? Black coffee, Americano? Okay. Um, please, yeah. Thank you. We'll start the street well fueled, ready for the battle. <laughs> Someone says, don't feel me? I'll be like, all right, brother, don't bash me. I know you're on fitness street, relax. Yum. What does it taste like banana? It tastes like chocolate banana. Might have been an error in um, translation. Full chocolate banana technique. It's all just like um, foreigners. Everyone. That's to show, like the ratio, how, how popular this place is. Very nice cafe, eh? Yeah, it's mad, bro. It's mad. Don't mind. How are you? Good. Are you Aussie? Yeah. yeah how are you? <laughs> I'm here for a month. Spend the time with the kids, train, enjoy life. Oh yeah, hectic, See? hectic. You stay here for a month? Yeah, we say we're on our last week. Are you? Yeah. Mad. How much does it cost you to stay here for a month? But we booked last year as soon as we left. Yep. Uh, Fusion Hotel there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk out of the hotel straight into the pool. Yeah, yeah. Kid. Yep. Like 1500 for the month. 1500. Dragon. That's hectic. And yeah. where are you training? We train Unit 2 and 7, Dragon, Apollo. Oh, everywhere. Just, just yeah, man. Just hectic. That's mad, bro. One and a half times a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hectic. You training? Or? No, no. Just, I'm going yeah. for a sus through. Walk yeah, through, bro. Yeah. For sure. Just show around, no, yeah. It's good, dude. Best yet. Yeah, hectic, hectic. Good lifestyle, cheap kids enjoy it. Yeah, that's sick. You come here all the time? Yeah, once a year. Once a year? It's yeah. affordable. Yeah, it's mad. Stay yeah. within your means, you enjoy life. 100%, brother. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you, brother. There's no way I just met someone that knows my mate Colombia. <laughs> what are you doing, lad? How long have you been here? I've been here for two weeks now. Two weeks? Two weeks. He just pumped a ginger shot and he told me to smell the cup. It gives a full mega. He just smell the cup. It smells like the most intense ginger ever. I'm actually going to buy one. Throw in I, the sorry, can I get one ginger shot? Sorry. It's like in a tequila. Yeah. Four times stronger. <laughs> Let's go. He's the, the mega ginger shot he was telling me about. Okay, it smells so. so this, this ain't a boost juice ginger nah, shot, lad. <laughs> Come on, bro. What, lad? Yeah, <laughs> oh, bro. That's mad. Straight to the gut. That's straight harsh, lad. <laughs> I can feel it going the whole the way gut. down. Well, I didn't think a ginger shot could be like that. It makes me feel like I've been cheated my whole life. All those fake ginger shots, eh? Like, it burns. Like, you got sickness. Yeah. yeah. I can feel it in my nostrils, yeah. lad. It's coming out of my nose. It opens everything, bro. And my stomach, everything. Yeah, <laughs> I'm paranoid now. I'm gonna start hallucinating. All right, that's it. All right, my bro. Good to meet you. Later, brother. Well, enjoy, bro. Hey, bro. Enjoy it, bro. Thank you. Right. More and more lads came. They knew me. One of the Lebo lads that came, he goes, bro, half of half of Auburn's here. I was like, all right. <laughs> how are you? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing, brother? Good. good. How are you? Where are you from? I'm from uh, I'm from Bangladesh originally, but I live in Australia. Oh, mad. For studying, yeah. So that's why I've seen your videos on yeah, YouTube and stuff. Yeah. Hectic. Can I get a few photos? Yeah, get it. Yeah, yeah go. Oh, my friends are just spinning out. Hey, yeah. Hey, don't mate. We're doing that life. <laughs> later, bro, later. What what do you, where where what do you get Thailand? I'm just traveling around. What are you doing yeah. here? Training? Training, yeah, yeah. This is the, the fitness the street. Fitness street. What, what, do yeah. you, what do you train here? Muay Thai. Muay Thai. Because you, you gotta train Muay Thai for yeah, Thailand, no. I reckon. Yep. Uh, you, you train kickboxing as well, right? I've done kickboxing, yeah, yeah. I've done kickboxing. Yeah, yeah. I haven't done Muay Thai, I've done like Dutch kickboxing. Dutch kickboxing, yeah, so yeah. more punching and kicking. More punching and kicking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Over here, they like the elbows and knees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. know, oh, savage. Yeah, you're gonna train <laughs> over here or not? No, no, just taking a walk through, looking around. Yeah, see what's going on. You should try a gym out. Just, just. Yeah, it might be. It's good, it's good. Really good. Mad brother. Cheers, bro. Have Thank a good you. day. All right, I'm out front of Tiger Muay Thai, pretty much the most famous martial arts training center in the world. Hey, hey, hey brother, how are you? Doing? doing? Oh, well. Yeah, where good, are you bro. Off to Dubai, bro. Dubai. Yeah, where are you going? I'm actually. How do you know I'm going to Dubai? My mate was with me fighting. He's preparing for the fight. Oh, yeah. Fighter pulled out mini national. Yeah, yeah. All right, mad. Yeah, to watch the kickboxing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, that's in. The, that's on the 16th. So I'm going there on the 14th, I think. Brilliant. Yeah. Good to see you. How's it going over here? It's good, bro. I'm just coming in and filming Fitness Street. Have you been here before? Never been here before, yeah. Yeah, 
you got all this Tiger Muay Thai over across yep. here. Just walk around the back. Yep. Just tell me you're a guest and I'll let you walk through. No, they they won't mind? Yeah. Alright, mad. Uh, yeah, I didn't know if they'd mind or not. Yeah, so I was going to just sneak up the side. Oh, there's a mad supplement store and all Muay Thai clothing there. All the merchandise uh, here. Yeah. This is the grill, so you got the grill here. Oh, yeah, oh they got their own food here. Yeah. Yep. Everything's looked after, all the, all the fighters are prepped up. Yeah, Luke mate. Muhammad Lankovic is getting ready for a UFC fight. Is he? PDN's getting ready for a UFC fight at the moment. They're here now? Yeah. Uh, oh, man. A couple of the boys, the Lebanese boys that have won the uh, won championship. I don't know if they're back yet, they were in Bangkok. Yup. They won on the weekend. No way. Uh, so this, so this yeah. is a more uh, more Thai class at the moment. It's kickboxing class on this side. Yup. They do K1, kickboxing. Oh, so they got K1 here as well. Yeah. Oh, man. Yup. That's 8 o'clock, so you missed the Muay Thai class. Alright, yeah, yeah, mad. 3 to 5 as well. Mad. Oh, this place is off its head. Man, man. I'm here at least, at least once every three months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bring my boys down there. Oh, you come here all the time. Yeah, mad. Yeah. There's a PT. Yeah. PT's through here. Yeah. Wherever they are around the world. Oh, so these are proper fighters here? Yeah. Boxing classes as well? Yep. Wow. Mukayev there growing up. He's one of the UFC champions. What's, what's his name? Mohamed Mukayev. Mohamed Mukayev. Yeah. UFC champion. The one on the bag or the one, the one skipping? skipping? Oh, yeah, yeah, man. We'll go to the back and see the special position he's doing. Oh, right, man. What are a lot of the people, where are they from? All around the world. All around the world, eh? You don't know who you're going to meet. Yeah. A little humble world. Really. Yeah, people. hectic. So you know you meet. Generally, you know yourself, fighters are generally humble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Humble to heart. Yeah. Happy to Yeah. They got some physiotherapy coming here. Oh, yeah, man. Physio. Fighters and strength and conditioning classes go here. Yep. This is the fighters classes. Alright, so fighters, strengthening and conditioning over here. And this is heat classes. Oh, yeah. Heat classes, strength and conditioning. Accommodation for the fighters. Oh, no way. Accommodation here for the fighters that want to stay actually in Tiger Muay Thai. This is where like heaps of the top USC fighters come yeah, and they, stay, all they? they all prep for their fights. USC, yeah. One championship. Yeah. All the uh, all the fighters around the world they come and prepare for fights. Yeah. Yeah, for one championship's massive here, eh? Massive, yeah. massive, massive around the world. It's really growing. Yeah, it is, eh? Uh, what weight does he fight in? Uh, Sixty. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. That's hectic. Yeah. We'll go to the top. Yep. Oh, thank God I met you, brother. Uh, We're getting a mad dude. Yeah. I would have just, if it was up to me, I would have just like peeked my head in and hooked her. No, I don't know how acceptable yeah, it is to come in and film people, no, you know what I mean? Pretty, they're pretty open. Yeah, yeah, mad. We've got a weights class on this side, so. Oh, yeah. Room. Yeah, weights room, nice. Like a weights room for the fighters. And hey, this is MMA here. Uh, they do, so yep. they look like there's some PTs going on, but later yep. on this afternoon, let's say 4 o'clock. Yeah. The MMA uh, sparring will happen. Oh, man. Throughout here. Yeah. And they use the cage. As long as they use the cage, it's closed off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so cage no at the back. see what they're working on. Oh, that's mad. Yeah. See, see what he said? The, the, the MMA, the octagon's up there. Yeah. It's You can't see in it. No, you can't. Yeah, so it's like no one knows what's going on, mate. They've got an ice bar for uh, recovery. Oh, yeah. Ice bath over there. Yeah, hectic. And the matting for Yeah. Yeah, that's mad, bro. Thank Full you, bro. Street. No problem. We'll, uh, legend. We'll What's your name again? Abraham. Abraham. Uh, mad, brother. Legend. Ha! Ah, hectic. Man, Abraham, we got a mad tour, lad. That's sick. In pretty much what is the most elite martial arts studio in the world. That's sick. Yeah, like, me personally, I didn't know how they were going to take it. Like, I was debating, do I just look from the side or do I ask someone in reception? Like, uh, can I have a look? But I definitely wouldn't have just got around freely filming everyone, especially in somewhere like this where people are trying to keep what they're doing private. You know what I mean? Um, but that's mad that we could do that. That's so sick. What a mad start to the episode. I love how they, um, they got their own rooms. Like you can stay here. Like imagine how intensely and how focused you must be on your training 
is if that's your strength and conditioning and you're just like book me one of those rooms for a month mate <laughs> i roll out the door i'm straight in the gym and i roll back in mate <laughs> I think we can get a look in one. Someone was in there. I didn't want to get bashed. <laughs> Put the camera in, he's on his bed playing on his phone. Gives me a snap kick. That's smart, bro. So you do K1, K1 coaching here? Yeah, I coach kickboxing. I also help with uh, Muay Thai and MMA. Yeah, hectic. Mad, bro. Here. So I work with a lot of fighters that come here. From so all over the world? Yeah. They all come here to you? That's why Min Minnie is here now. Yeah. Train with me. <laughs> oh, he, he you yeah. Minnie's looking after, yeah. Yeah, mad. The yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah uh, mad, brother. See you around. All right, my bro. See you later. Legend. We're doing that. Oh yeah. Thank you. We're doing that. Oh yeah. Anyway, let's cut, bro. That was hectic. I'm really happy we, that, that we met Abraham and he got to show us around like that. Apollo camp, Muay Thai, Western boxing, and the hotel. We'll just have a look over the edge. Like, see what I mean? These places are, they have um, accommodation in them. Here's the map for the place. Hotel, 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 all around it. Pool, sauna, and then there's the training area. So they're like big resorts almost. Well, not almost, they literally are. They're fighting resorts. I dare say that the, the massage places on this street would be a lot more therapeutic focused. Do you know what I mean? You know, some of the other massages you can imagine are just like little throw off places. Oh, so they're building a, or they're repairing. Bro, there's, look at that, all hectic fight gear. Come have a look. This whole place, I know they're renovating in here now, but look, it's just all, all, the, all fighting apparel in here. That's that famous uh, Thai fighter, I forgot her name. Fairtex or something. See like um, proteins and gingers and like detox drinks. Hey, so probably, hey, we're doing ba. How are you, brother? <laughs> I'm surprised how known I am here. <laughs> I feel like I'm walking past Town Hall, lad. Everyone knows me. When I turned the camera off too, a few times, and I was talking privately to Abraham and that, like it's more and more. You, you, you haven't even seen like, half of it. Pharmacy. Let me have a look at the pharmacy. You know, I've heard a few times and seen my like TikToks and stuff that this thing here, you have to buy, it's a legal thing. It's like eucalyptus and all stuff like that, menthol. But like they're saying, just try it. Like you inhale it and something. It's just like herbs and that. Hey, can I get this please? Okay. <clears throat> what does this do again? Can you explain? Oh, smell. Smelling, and it makes you- um, Refreshing, maybe Refreshing. Yeah. All right, beautiful, I'll buy that. Uh -huh, okay. Thank you. I, just when I seen it then I was reminded I was just like what what is it but it's like it just relieves like sickness and stuff but it's made of like menthol eucalyptus and and other herbs it says I'm paranoid now oh it just smells like vix vix vape a really strong version of vix vapor rub smells nice um, 
Yeah, that's, you know, Vicks and you put on kids. It smells like that. Yeah. It says on it, it relieves symptoms of vertigo. What a, what a weird, oh look, another my protein store. Berry smoothies, healthy drinks, any cancer, in protein shakes. Hey, how are you? Yeah. you fat. I'm just gonna fill up my mad protein shakes the whole time. I gotta get another one. Oh no, I'll get a smoothie. I've had a protein shake. Can I get a smoothie? Yeah. Yeah, which popular one? Which one? Smoothie. A any, any smoothie. Yeah, your choice. Pineapple? Yeah. Beautiful, thank you. Oh, yum. Pineapple and yogurt and something else, I don't know. And something else, I don't know. I don't know, but they didn't ask, it's nice. Hey, the little cat. All right, cats don't react like Aussie cats. Oh, unit 27. Apparently this is like the pump for uh, conditioning. This is just like a straight conditioning place. I'm not gonna go in and annoy him. We'll just look from here. <laughs> but did you see that hit my face? It <laughs> scared the shit out of me, lad. That thing flew down. A bit of the insulation flew down and hit me in the, in the face. But how mad is this? So Abraham was saying that this place is so good at strength and conditioning that the fighters, like a lot of the fighters from the other gyms come here just for it. The gyms here are very encompassing. They have their own restaurant, their own accommodation, you know what I mean, their own pool. And like I said, that tiger, that gym up there that, that, uh, that we first went into, there's all different packages, but the package that generally gives you an unlimited access to everything is $600 a month. That's hectic. And look at everything going on. Yeah, right, yeah. That's my daughter. Yeah, 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 What are you talking about, cuz? What are you talking about, lad? Let's oge. Hey, what are you talking about, lad? Let's oge. What are you training here? Muay Thai? Boxing. boxing. Oh, boxing. Mad, yeah, brother. Legend. Yeah. Where are you from? England. England. Hectic, yeah. brother. Later. How mad is that? People from England know my punchlines. This street is hectic, lad. Hey, this street's mad. I'll tell you something, um, a very important perception that I have here. A lot of places that I go, completely normal places. I'm not just talking about like a hood or something like that. It can be a normal street in the middle of a normal city. When you're filming with a little camera, you get a vibe of people. You get like a welcoming vibe or a what's this bloke doing vibe or get out of here vibe or... Um, you, that vibe's strong, like, because obviously what I do stands out. The vibe I'm getting here I'm not just saying from the people that know me and want to shake my hand. I'm saying like just the general people. People in the gyms that I was pointing the camera at is like very, very open. Like every single person here is just like they're doing their thing. They don't care. Like what's he doing? Filming? Oh man, good on him. See you later. Like I'm translating that to you. So if you, you know, if you feel like anxious to come here or something like that, that's the vibe I'm getting. vegan store, more laundry services, massage. Oh, so I think here behind us is another one of the famous gyms. Abraham was saying back at Tiger, he was saying um, that pretty much the most uh, famous, the most sought after Muay Thai trainer is actually at Dragon. I think this might be it here. Oh yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. You come with a photo. What are you doing here, bro? I was just walking around, brother, filming for YouTube. Hectic, bro. Thank you, bro. Stand there, Sammy. Yeah, yeah. Stand, Stand there, take a photo. Yeah. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> Mad, brother. Hey, How are you here for? Just, just today. Oh, you want to yeah, here? Yeah, no, no, I've been here for three days. I've been up for Tong. Okay. And I just come here to just go up the street. Come back here, bro. Yeah, it looks mad. I love it, bro. It looks right. hectic. I've been here 20 minutes and it feels come mad, bro. I've been here for a month, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20 minutes, eh? Mad, bro. Mad. Where are you from? Sydney. 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 Hectic. Maryland. Hectic. Later. Oh, no way. What are you doing, lad? <laughs> it's someone I know him. <laughs> what are you doing with Jesse, lad? He's one of the boys. I actually know him. Not like everyone else has said hello. Jesse. He's from Sydney. What are you doing here? Lad? 
training here, I'm training some of the boys here. You're training the boys? Yeah, mate. All the boys have just arrived. But yeah, uh, doing boys. <laughs> yeah, hectic. You've been coming here heaps? Yeah, 10 years I've been coming here. 10 years? 10 years. Yeah, mad, mad, mad. Hey, what, what do you, this is Dragon. This is Dragon, yeah. This is Dragon, yeah. This is one of the most famous ones, eh? Yeah, this is one of the original ones. It was this one and Tiger. This whole street was yep. built off, off Tiger, basically. Oh, was it? Yeah. I just walked through Tiger, it's off chops, eh? Yeah. Yeah, it's mad, bro, this whole street. I'm just doing a walkthrough, lad, and showing them, showing everyone around Fitness Street and the gyms and that. Yeah. yeah. How long How long have you been in Thailand now? I've been here two weeks. Two weeks? Two weeks, I've got another six weeks. Oh, two months you're staying out? Yeah, yeah sick. Okay. Yeah, mad, brother. I'll show you around later, man. Yeah, it's all right. Good to bump you, lad. Cheers, all right, my brother, later. Cheers. He's a trainer at uh, a gym in uh, Legends Gym. Hopefully, I didn't say that wrong. I don't want him to bash me. Legends Gym, yeah, it is. In uh, Kensington. So, these shots are a popular thing. Fresh ginger shot. And you know what that makes me think? You know how we get sold wherever, we're in our countries, you know, we get sold a lot of like false stuff. This health shot or this super tablet. And it makes you think how much of it is really effective. And you can tell something's effectiveness by how much it's used by the people that are actually like where it matters. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So if you're in a street like this, it's full of elite athletes training to be world champions. Whatever is popular on this street, you dare say that it's like Not useful, legend, you know? Mate, later boys, later. <laughs> you dare say it's useful, you know what I mean? I don't think this street's gonna be full of gimmicky health products. Gimmicky health products. Hey, doing lad. Can I get in? Yeah. Yeah. I saw you put it on your story yesterday. Yeah. I yeah. showed my mate. I said, bullshit, Somewhere. if we see him here. <laughs> What are you doing here? What are you training? Bodybuilding? Um, yeah, yeah well, I'm just fucking relaxing, like taking it easy. Um, yeah, hectic. Um, Where are you from? Melbourne, bro. Melbourne, man. Melbourne, bro. Yeah. Hey, so, oh, good to see you, man. Bro. All right, boys, later. You too. I knew straight away bodybuilding. <laughs> he was overly muscular. I don't think you're doing uh, Muay Thai. <laughs> Here he is. Fight zone. A lot of cannabis stores to be honest, but just so many stores. Oh, one of the lads was telling me actually, uh, when the camera was off, Abraham, he was saying, see all the cannabis stores everywhere in Thailand. He said, uh, they're, they're putting a stop to it. So they legalized cannabis and it went out of control. Apparently after COVID, it went out of control and all of a sudden it's just every second store was like a cannabis store. So the Thai government is like pulling back on their legalization of it soon. And it's just gonna be like big, uh, licensed places sell it but none of these little pop-up stores you know so it won't be so in your face which I think is a good thing like yeah all right it's it's legal for the people that want it but it shouldn't be like every second store like it's you know like you know like a souvenir shop you know oh here's another unit 27 which makes me question, is that the Unit 27? Or was the other one the Unit, they're both Unit 27s. But when uh, Abraham was saying um, that it's like the popular strength and conditioning, he could have been talking about that one. To be honest though, it doesn't look like it's that one. That looks like more like a bodybuilding gym. Um, indoor like weights machines. And the other one looked like it was more MMA focused, the mats and stuff. Hey, what are you doing, lad? What are you doing? How are you, bro? Hey, what are you doing brother? here? Uh, just filming around, hey, bro. Yeah, it's nice. Hey, where are you from? Let me get a picture. Adelaide, bro. Adelaide. Adelaide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you have an accent? I follow you here. You in England. Oh, I was going to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was expecting him to say oh, England here, or something. Just the day, brother. Oh, yeah? yeah what are you sweet, doing here? We're here training, bro. Training? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Olympia now, yeah. Yeah, yeah Apollo boxing, too. Apollo yeah, boxing, yeah. beautiful. Fucking mad. How long are you for? I live here, bro. I've been here like six months. You live here? Yeah, bro, yeah. Oh, wow. I live in Adelaide. Yep. But I live, I've been here six months now, bro, yeah. It's that good? Yeah, it's mad. <laughs> <laughs> Hectic. Yeah, People I'm moving here, brother. You come here, yes. you're never going. Yeah. <laughs> All right, boys, later. Good to see you. He, he said he, he lives here. I couldn't understand his accent. I spun out when I go, where are you from? And he goes, Adelaide. I'm like, is that how they talk in Adelaide? Nah. <laughs> This looks like a mad tattoo store. 
a traditional bamboo tattoo they do here. Ooh. Yeah, YouTube of Allah. How are you? I can look. Can I look? Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I'm from YouTube. Take, take off two over there. Yeah, I'll take yeah, the yeah, shoes yeah. off. No problem. I come from Sydney. Sydney. Okay. Australia. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good. What do you do? Bamboo tattoo. Yeah, I make bamboo. I have bamboo. I make it. Yeah, a bamboo machine. Yeah. Show, uh, show me a picture. Yeah, show, show you. Did one file eye bamboo. Oh, this. Well, like a stick. Wow, you're very very popular here. People like bamboo Hobby, tattoos. Uh, the best, the best, the best, uh, huh? By day, thick day, finish. Yo, well, everything. All bamboo. Not not machine did one. Oh machine, did one, yeah, full, yeah. Full back, uh, full back, back yeah. Hey, bamboo, full back. Oh bamboo the back. Yeah yeah. Well, wow. tie the tie. Yeah. That whole back is bamboo. Yeah. Beautiful, huh? Thank you. Good work, brother. Thank you. Thank you. He done the whole, the bloke's whole back with ban, with a bamboo, like yeah, yeah. with a piece. That's his sign, brother. Yeah. Beautiful. Bamboo tattoos. He done the whole bloke's back, but he does machine tattoos too. He done the whole chest of the machine. Venom. It's very popular. Uh, Venom and Fairtex are like two of the, or if not the two most popular training apparel brands. They're eating here. The lads that I got the photos with. It's my food there? My food? Yeah, hectic. Oh, so this is a big hotel. Look, with rooms above, look. They got like own their own washing spot here to do their clothes, laundry. Hey, hey we're doing, bro. Doing, man? Yeah, good, brother. That's crazy. How you're doing, Thailand? <laughs> hectic, hectic. Yeah, Later. Yeah, two days ago. Where are you going to train? No, no, I'm not training. I'm just doing videos. I'm going tomorrow. Love it. Yeah. Love Mad. Where are you from? London. London. Hectic. Later. Hey. Oh, down this end, it's like heaps of restaurants. I've noticed. Tony's restaurant, U Bar food, the American Standard Hotel. More hotels. Hey, this is sick, lad. This is sick. And, and you know what, too, also, I knew this before I came, but we're not going to have the time to do it. The, shoot, uh, the, the streets that come off it and some of the back streets have a lot of training stuff and even popular gyms. It's not. Even though this gym, uh, this street is where it started, and like the lad was saying, it started from Tiger, or Jesse was saying, it started from Tiger and moved to Dragon, and then the whole street became this. So it's like at one time, I can imagine it going off that, that this was like just back streets of like back factory streets. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you think where we are, and they would have just had like a popular gym at the back, and then two, and at next minute it just become this full, popular tourist place we're not anywhere close to the center or the city we're quite far out on the outer suburbs so it's it's amazing that they've made this out of out of that situation so yeah like i was saying look titan fitness camp it, we'll go have a look but this is like in this in the side streets right which is when i searched our popular places one of the most popular places for tourists was this place titan fitness camp and it was a place like people come to lose weight and, or change their lifestyle. It's in one of the side streets to show you like uh, all the stuff we potentially walked past. Yeah, see so Titan Fitness. Fitness classes, ice bath, sauna, outdoor gym, indoor gym, massage, assault course and Buddha run. Yeah, that's cool. You see what I mean? Not every place is like for professional fighters, you know? And that's one of the places. And even down there, down the end of the street, I can see another big gym. This is great. This is the best. Definitely the world's fittest street. <laughs> it's probably the world's best fighting street as well, eh? It's just all uh, clothing, Muay Thai clothing, apparel.
you know, the headwear they wear. Oh, you can even rent scooters here. Ooh. And this is like at the start of Fitness Street, so you got everything here. You can rent your scooters and everything. Cars, rent, motorbikes, look. There's wraps. That's hectic. Should I be one of those fake dudes that doesn't do Muay Thai but buys, buys Muay Thai shorts? I gotta buy something, but then when I wear them, I'm gonna, people are gonna be like, oh, you're a mad fighter. I'm like, nah, lad, I'm not. <laughs> I wanna get a pair of shorts though. How much are the shorts? Oh, the price is there. Yeah, six fifty. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. It's ninety-two fifty. Oh, yeah, different prices. Yeah. What size do you think I am? L or XL? Maybe I'll get uh, XL. I have XL something like this. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, this dry Muay Thai. I like this one. Okay, this six hundred. These are sick. Look at these. They're yeah. mad. Yeah, they're mad. Can I buy this place? 650? Yes. Thank you. They're hectic. I didn't even see those blue with gold trimmings. I'll just flick her a thousand. Thank you. You keep that. Thank you. Thank you. Mad shorts. Down this end, it's looking like a lot less trainers and a lot more like food places, places to stay. Oh, this is a floating like chamber. Look. It's got, and it has Joe Rogan's famous saying. Remember how he's saying he went in a float tank and he spun out? <laughs> the sensory deprivation chamber is the most important tool I've ever used for developing my mind, for thinking, for evolving. Settle down, Joe Rogan, mate. You're taking it too far, mate. Every, <laughs> he's, a, yeah, he's good, bro. Yeah, so sensory deprivation chambers. That's in there. Float indigo, it's called. There's yoga down there. There's no way in the world I'm getting in a sensory deprivation chamber. I'll come out with all sorts of mental illnesses. Oh no, there still is uh, places. Ali's boxing gym, Ali's complex. Ali's everything. There's a bloke called Ali here and he's just making a conglomerate of corporations. Ali's smokehouse. That's mad. So the gym's down the end and it's just got like everything else. Smokehouse, restaurant. What's that? The grill, that restaurant? It's called the Flying Armbar Sports and Grill. <laughs> That's mad. Yum! <laughs> he's, he's funny, I guess I said yum. Hey brother, hello. I want one of these, a main course. A dana kebab spicy. Yeah, I want that. Can I get this, please? This? Yeah. This. Yeah. Thank you. Spice. Yeah. Spicy lamb. Yeah, I eat it. Yeah. Oh. Hectic. Up on the screen, it's the one championship. I'll actually sit a bit closer so you can see the screen. Sit up here. Oh, have you ever seen a Thai can of Coke? Look at this. Hectic. Mm. That's my perfect food, lad. <laughs> That's huge. Bro, it's hectic. Yum. Spicy lamb, adana, tomato rice, fresh onion, a nice roasted pepper. That's it, brother. Let me tell you if the Thai. Coke Zero tastes exactly like the others. Bro, it tastes like Dr. Pepper, mate. <laughs> All right, mad feet, bro. It was like um, 400 bar. Still haven't worked out how much that is <laughs> after all this time. Looks like another big gym here, Lions MMA Club. What's he beeping about? He's the one driving like a maniac. Cool. 
Ma Jim's eye. This is uh, like a promo for the fights. They're like every night here in Thailand. Look. Oh, this was from a couple days ago. Saturday, January the 12th. So it's like people all over the world and it says what gym they're from underneath it. See it? We can fight club. But yeah, they're every night. Even when I'm staying in Patong, all the time down the middle of the street, there's just trucks that are promoting tonight's fights. And his faces are just people from all over the world. What are you doing, like? How are you, brother? Doing, my bro. What's going on? How are you on? doing? Yeah, good, good. No. You enjoying yourself, bro? Yeah, it's hectic. Good, eh? Yeah, where are you from? Perth. Perth. Yeah, yeah mate, brother. Have a good one. Later. So many Aussies here, eh? So many Aussies here. It feels like, well, from what I can see, we're at the end of the street. And things are starting to pop up down the end of, this, end of the street now, as you can see there. Papa massage. 250 an hour. 250 an hour, that's hectic. Oh yeah, and there we are. The end or the start of Fitness Street. I think we started at the end. Maybe this is the start here. Hey, Don. How are you? Doing, bro. Good, bro. Good, 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 good. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's just general stores down here at the beginning. Well, that's it, eh? That's pretty much the work. That's mad, lad. <laughs> hey, that was hectic. The world's fittest street, brother. Yeah, look, see, here's the signs like, like when we started showing you what's up the street. And it ends or begins down here on this big main road. What do I think of it? I think that was mad, bro. The vibe up there is hectic. Really friendly. It's like really accepting. Mad like everything you need, I guess. I guess if you're going to stay up there for a month, just with the intention of you're not here to buy designer clothes and all stuff like that, just put your head down, eat, sleep, train, massages, tattoos, haircuts. Perfect, lad. Everything you need's up there. Everyone's friendly. People from all over the world. That's it. Fitness Street, World's Fitness Street, laters.